When you see the growth rate numbers, it were, Turkey was the uh, biggest growing uh, country in terms of revenue uh, during the pandemic and they, were, they got affected the least after the pandemic drop. So uh, I would say the, the future is quite even brighter for Turkey. The gaming industry is responsible for some of the most recognizable brands in entertainment. And as the power of smartphones starts to compete with PCs and gaming consoles, the market for developers and studios is offering tremendous opportunities. Turkey is emerging as a country in which developers are making the most of this opportunity, with Turkish studios creating engaging games that are finding loyal followings. I am Diana Yilagina, and I'm leading the team Europe Country Focus at Statista. And joining me today for this special webinar are Zeynep Dirks, a dedicated researcher for the Turkish market at Statista, and Berkay Uslu, a senior demand growth manager at Adjo, an ad tech company and our data partner. Zeynep and Berkay, thank you for joining us today at the Statista headquarters in Hamburg. Thank you for having us here. Thanks for having us. Before we dive into the Turkish market, it would be good to get an overview of the global industry. What trends have you been seeing and are there any segments that are showing more promise than others? Among all the segments of the video gaming industry, we see that mobile gaming industry has been growing at a really high pace and um, it's really standing out uh, among all the other segments. Yeah. Uh... Totally agree. And just one uh, genre that is growing a bit slower than the others could be the physically sold games. Mm -hmm. But other than that, the name of the game is just growth overall. Turkey does not necessarily come to mind when we think about the highest grossing gaming markets. However, we are hearing more and more about high performing gaming studios based in the country. So how does the Turkish market stand in a global context? I'd say Turkey is still relatively new and emerging and developing market for mobile gaming industry. And it's not fair to compare Turkish market to the well-established ones like the US and Japan or China. So I would compare the leading uh, European markets to Turkish market. So we see that uh, Germany and the UK are the leading markets for mobile gaming industry. and. While Turkey is still behind of these markets, it's quite competitive with Italy and Spain, I'd say. Yeah, uh, even though Turkey right now is not in the top three or so, uh, even between the European countries, because when you see the growth rate numbers, it were, Turkey was the uh, biggest growing uh, country in terms of revenue uh, during the pandemic, and they got affected the least after the pandemic drop. So uh, I would say the, the future is quite even brighter for Turkey. So, so far we have focused on the revenue side, but what about the number of people playing? Are we seeing similar trends? Well, I'd say mobile gaming users are definitely increasing. And um, we see that uh, estimated number of mobile gaming players in Turkey were 44 million in 2023. However, there's a different scenario when we look at the PC and console platforms and we see a really sharp decrease in the last years. Uh, playing mobile games is a lot easier to, than playing on your console or PC. Yeah? And it's also cheaper because we all have phones and our phones are getting better and better. So that's another thing. I mean, when you, come, when you uh, remember the games that we were playing like 10 years ago on our phones and now we can play like uh, PUBG with an Xbox controller that is made for, for, a, for a phone. Yeah? I mean, you needed like a well-established computer for playing The Sims, for instance, and you can play yeah. it on your phone right now. Exactly, exactly. And I think that's the, that's the key thing for the growth uh, rates. Uh, for mobile gaming, it's just more convenient for the people and now uh, also publishes all the demand. Yeah? And that's the, that's the main thing. And now you can see that, uh, as you mentioned, like Sims, PUBG or uh, any other games now, they're also they're trying to uh, make their versions for the, for the mobile. I mean, you see one of the biggest games in the world like FIFA, uh, EA Sports makes the mobile version as well. Speaking about the ongoing growth, I had to immediately think about um, the startup scene. How has it developed in Turkey in the past few years? Well, COVID times were definitely good times for the Turkish mobile gaming industry as 148 uh, studios were founded in 2020 and 2021. 
I think the main reason of it was the hypercasual. So hypercasual led the way uh, by giving the users the easy uh, gameplay, easy progression, and uh, make the users also feel rewarded for their actions. Yeah, and it it paid out in a big way. Uh, both in terms of installs and, of course, in terms of increasing the market size. And specifically for Turkey, uh, this is the main factor of the increasing uh, appearance of the, both, the, both the country and the startups of the, that, that has been found in Turkey. Yeah? But now we see that that trend is shifting and now we are seeing more and more uh, big companies, but less and less newly founded startups. Um, in 2021 and 2022, uh, Turkish mobile gaming markets uh, received a lot of investments, actually the highest amount of investments. And among many uh, successful publishers, Dream Games was the one yeah. uh, receiving the highest investment. Yeah, okay. And uh, they received uh, almost half a billion investments uh, in, those, in that timeline. To be honest, I'm not surprised at all to see uh, Dream Games on the top of the list and peak uh, there as well. When you put the charts next to each other, a number of startups founded and the investments amounts, you will see different pictures. In the pandemic times, the number of startups was roaring. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But now we can see the investment values are getting bigger and bigger. And uh, of course, Dream Games is there, but also there are, there are other companies that is growing, such as Spike, Ace, uh, and many more. Yeah, actually Spike Games recorded the highest value of investment in the first half of 2024, which actually proves that it's a vibrant uh, atmosphere, right? Like it's a fast-paced industry. True, and uh, it also shows that Dream and Peak is going to have some uh, okay. other competitors as well, you know? You've just mentioned several major Turkish gaming publishers. How do they compete against and compare to each other? Of course, uh, Everyone is doing a great job. Yeah, you have Dream Games there with their pioneer of uh, Royal Match. You have Peak Games and uh, with their big three titles now. As you mentioned, Spike Games uh, are getting bigger and better and Ace Games are getting bigger and better. But on the other hand, as a different business model, we have also Rolex Games. And uh, you, you don't see them in the investment charts, etc. Or in the chart that generated highest in-app revenue because uh, they are mainly focused, they were mainly focused on hyper-casual and uh, they were mainly monetized by the ads. But they are also doing a great job and they, in the last years, they published a game uh, with the collaboration of UFC and the IP rights of Dana White, Dana White. and uh, it's just for me as a as a Turkish person, uh, it's great to see Rolik is doing so good things. Now they are going to publish a new game uh, with the Barbie IP as well, which is we uh, I also cannot wait to see. Actually, uh, I would also like to mention the in-app revenues of uh, the biggest players in the Turkish gaming mm. industry. For instance, um, Dream Games, we're not surprised that recorded the highest in-app revenue in 2023, which was over $800 uh, million. And Peak Games followed as the highest second grossing studio with their um, really high in-app revenue. However, we have a different uh, scenario when we look at the downloads. And in that sense, Rolex Games is the leading publisher from Turkey and uh, they recorded over 300 million downloads worldwide. One of our other data partners, AppMagic, has reported that two Turkish gaming publishers, Peak Games and Dream Games, have just reached new milestones in user spending, namely $5 billion for Peak Games and $3 billion for Dream Games. Uh, you've also just mentioned Rolex Games expanding the portfolio. Which games of these studios are the most successful? It's impossible to just say one of them is the most successful one because uh, all of them are doing a great job and what they are doing. I read the uh, mobile games index report that like uh, we and you, like uh, Andrew and Statista, has published and so that like Royal Match, of course, Royal Match is uh, almost number one on everywhere, but on puzzle as well. And then I started to realize more and more. Like I started to check on trains, on planes when I'm getting on planes. And I see at least one person who is playing Royal Match. So it, the, the uh, amount of downloads that they have is just enormous. And of course, that reflects to the user spending. And you have Peak uh, coming the second. Uh, of course, they have three games, three big games as well. Well, Dream has this one big pioneer, but Peak uh, has uh, 
has more than one game that is really being successful. Yeah, so this also explains uh, the uh, amount of revenue that they're making. And on the other hand, you have Rolex games uh, acquired by Zynga and Take-Two and now increasing their portfolio with different genres as well uh, by improving them with the intellectual properties such as, as we mentioned, the UFC and Barbie. And obviously the future is even brighter for them. Yeah, to add to your point, actually Dream Games recorded um, an in-app revenue of over one billion dollars with just that Royal Match game. Yeah. It's pretty big, right? And uh, also for Peak Games, they have this uh, three biggest games they published, Toon Blast, Toy Blast and Match Factory. And they also recorded with the combination of these three games an in-app revenue of almost half a billion. So these are the publishers based in Turkey. But I assume the Turkish market must also be attractive to global publishers. So which foreign studios have established presence in the country? Well, Turkey was a hotspot for a lot of global gaming companies and among the top grossing ones were Zynga, Tencent and Supercell. Yeah, uh, so we all we, we all discussed about the uh, publishing side, publisher side of the Turkey, yeah? uh, but it's also another side for the user acquisition as a user market. And uh, as you mentioned, all the big uh, players, all the big publishers uh, have to buy from Turkey as well because it's a it's a big market. I mean, you mentioned 44 million of uh, users playing mobile games. It's a it's a big number, obviously, but. We can see all of the big players uh, are active in the in the Tur in the Turkish market. You see uh, Tencent there with their PUBG game, uh, with Zynga with their localized uh, Yüzbir OK uh, game that is uh, really popular in Turkey, and they are in the charts as well. Yeah, they were also one of the most popular games. Yeah. Exactly, Turkey. exactly. And you see uh, one of the biggest publishers as well, Playrix is there, King with their legendary uh, Candy Crush Saga is there. So it's a market for everyone and for every big uh, company, every big uh, publisher as well. Yeah, And so that's why uh, we also tell this to our partners too. Yeah? It's a great market and we encourage them to, as Adjo, to acquire more and more users from uh, Turkey as well, because we see the potential there and it's gonna only grow from there. As you've just mentioned, on the one hand, we have Turkish gamers often spending money on the apps published by international studios. And on the other hand, we have Turkish studios generating revenue from global markets. As we're slowly coming to the end of our discussion, what is the outlook that you see for both of these streams? We forecast at Statista that uh, Turkish mobile gaming markets uh, will experience even higher growth in the next uh, five to six years, well, even compared to the uh, leading European markets. This is what I'm excited about, both uh, the publishers uh, from Turkey and Turkey as a user base, because as your data is, uh, is showing, uh, we have a really bright future for, for Turkey uh, and Turkish gaming industry. Zeynep and Berkay, thank you very much for this engaging discussion. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, always a pleasure. And to our audience, thank you for joining us today in exploring the state of and trends in the Turkish mobile gaming market. We have linked the relevant publications and topic pages in the description. For all your data needs, visit Statista.com and for more expert insights across different industries, make sure to sign up for future webinars.